Chup Chaudhary, thank you for the super chat. How can I reduce sleep for my neat UG preparation? Chup Chaudhary, I would definitely not recommend that you reduce sleep. Sleep is very important for you to become a better student. What I would advise is that you get used to a particular sleep cycle. So my sleep cycle, when I was preparing for my neat PG exam, I would sleep from 4 to 10. This was just something that worked for me personally because my best studying time was happening at night, 10 to 12 and then 12 to 4. I would study till 4 a.m. and then I would sleep. I would wake up at 10. I would have something light for breakfast. I would go for a swim, come back, have another 4 to 5 hour study session, then chill out in the evening for half an hour, one hour, have dinner and then again again i would study for six to eight hours is exercise while being sick okay absolutely not when you are sick your body needs rest you should not put more stress on your body your body is already under stress which is why when you're sick you lose weight the body is burning off energy and you don't feel like eating energy so all together you're you are in an energy deficient state so you should not put more stress on yourself can you please give brain information regarding sexual problems like erectile dysfunction and low libido so imagine if if you cut yourself with a knife now you have a bleeding because you cut yourself with a knife that is a single faceted problem you know the cause and you know the effect a multifaceted problem would be if there are many things contributing to that one problem if i come in and i can't find my house keys it's a multifaceted problem because maybe i slept late last night maybe i had a hectic schedule maybe uh, my the place where I usually keep it that was full and I had to keep it somewhere else and the reason that was full was because of something else and so many many things come together to contribute to the problem of me not finding my keys so a lot of sexual problems stem from multiple facets many things affect your sexual health like your nutrition like your sleep like your mental health many of these things affect something called as the autonomic nervous system in your body and sexual health is actually all about your autonomic nervous system when it comes to male sexuality both erection and ejaculation is an autonomic process you need your parasympathetic and your sympathetic autonomic nervous system to work together so it is like a balance if both of those things are not working together then there can be a sexual dysfunction either erection won't happen at all or there might be premature ejaculation so erectile dysfunction which is why it is extremely difficult to give useful sexual advice to a particular case on youtube and i know that there is a lot of embarrassment or a lot of doubt that comes in because you're not allowed to talk about it you don't know whom to ask you don't know where to go it happens it is common and it gets sorted. Nishant is saying, I saw your PTSD video. It happened to me 100%. Any tips to calm for sleep and insomnia? Post-traumatic stress disorder is an extremely disturbing thing because it is essentially your brain taking a screenshot of what is probably like the worst memory of your life and applying it again and again to multiple scenarios. It's like you are reliving that one moment through different angles. So if somebody did go through a traumatic episode, like being chased by a dog, being caught in a fire, what would happen is that your brain would take that and then because it is so traumatized, it wants to ensure that you never go through that again. And so it will always try to check that is this going to happen? So it is literally walking around with a postcard saying, have you seen this person? And if so, then run from it. So if, if there is a dog, then it is always walking around with a dog. Like, oh, is there a dog anywhere around me? Is there a dog anywhere? And if so, be careful, be careful. Remember you were chased by a dog 10 years ago. What are your views on yoga? yoga is awesome because it is movement meditation you are trying to find mental balance and mental peace through movement of the body and i feel like yoga is a type of that there are of course many many different advantages uh, to yoga musculoskeletal psychological emotional because you are literally trying to find that balance between your mind and body there are a lot of advantages if done under the right person so i would definitely recommend that everybody do it how does meditation help strengthen PFC? That's a good question, actually. Basically, what is the PFC's role? The PFC is supposed to gain control over your limbic impulses. And one of your limbic impulses is to make your mind wander onto random things. My phone beeps, my attention is gone there. And meditation helps you gain control over your attention. So if you're saying that my attention has to be fixed onto a particular point, 
meditation helps you do that that is what the prefrontal cortex is supposed to do so meditation is in a way gaining control over your prefrontal cortex neuroscience of indecisiveness do you know what causes indecisiveness when we have to make a decision and there are too many choices your brain gets annoyed at you it is literally your brain giving you the middle finger like how dare you give me so many choices because there's something called as heuristic learning so your brain takes a shortcut your brain says that agar ye hua to ye hua ye kiya to ye kiya ye aaya to main ye karunga ye aaya to main ye bolunga and your brain has this protocol indecisiveness comes when you put in another option and you say that let us rethink and your brain just says what the fuck man we had a deal we were going to keep things simple we were going to keep things moving and you say wait what if we do this other thing and so your brain goes into that whole bsnl sound youtube circling where you're buffering 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 and your networks are trying to form in real time because if the network was already formed you wouldn't be indecisive you will immediately know what to do but here you are forcibly trying to connect your networks and that takes time so indecisiveness is new networks forming in real time so be patient with yourself it takes time to form networks